Sound check for the Valley High School Hockey League. MC Media streaming of Valley High School Hockey between the Horton Griffins and Yarmouth Mariners. Check, 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 check. There we go. Better in my ear.
Good afternoon, hockey fans, and welcome to MC Media streaming coverage of the Valley High School Hockey League. Today's match, the host Yarmouth Vikings versus the visiting Horton Griffins. Horton will be in black, going from left to right in the first period. Yarmouth in gray, going from right to left. I think I said that right. We'll find out when the game starts. As to the Sandings in the Valley High School Hockey League, Horton is currently the third number three team with, after 14 games played, 11 wins, three losses for 22 points. Yarmouth not that far behind in fifth place, 15 games played with 10 wins, four losses, and one shootout loss for 21 points. So from a point perspective, just one behind. Key players to watch out for, for the host Yarmouth Vikings, we've got Zach Richardson with 18 goals, 24 points for four, uh, 24 assists for 42 points. JJ McPhee with 15 goals and 11 assists for 26 points. Travis, Ryder Travis, uh, seven goals and 13 assists for 20 points. And we've got uh, Finley Taylor, Tyler McLeod, and Luke McClay all with 16 points. On the Horton Griffins, Evan Krisselbrink, five goals and 12 assists for 17 points. Carter Parsons, 10 goals and seven assists for 17 points. Tommy Shaw, 10 goals and four assists for 14 points. Starting in net for Horton, Mason Vino, number 23. Mason with a seven and one record and a 2.48 goals against average with one shutout. And for Yarmouth, it's number one, Charlie Banks. Banks with a six and one record, a 2.29 goals against average and no shutouts. And we are about to get underway. Face off, controlled by Yarmouth. Brown picks it up, clears the blue line, takes a shot, goes off of a leg. He fires it towards the net, steered aside easily by Vino. Brown will back, back, back up, off his glove, but kept in by Richardson. He'll fire it in deep, chasing it down to Stevens. He's not going to get there in time. Now Stevens picks it up, goes against the boards, and out come the Griffins. They gain the blue line, coming in. That's a nice individual move by Britton. Off the boards, back to the point. Easton with a shot. That's uh, deflected off. Coming back the other way is Taylor. Taylor has some room, stops, tries to saucer pass that over to McPhee, but it's just out of his reach. McPhee behind the net. Nice stick work there by the Griffin defense. It's going to come back the other way to Stevens. Lead pass along the wall. Chipped high and into the neutral zone. LeBlanc picks it up for the Vikings, almost at the Mariners. Have to keep that straight when I'm calling minor hockey games. Easton in the corner for the Griffins. Goes behind the net, pass in front, it goes straight through the blue. Another opportunity, big save, rebound, another save and a goal! Horton Griffins clean up around the net. And as he turns, I will get the number 19. Number 19, Evan Krisselbrink. The leading scorer for Horton. Puts Horton on the board early in the first minute and seven seconds of this game as uh, Banks made a couple of stops, but Yarmouth could not clear that puck away out of, uh, out of the danger zone and uh, left Horton's most dangerous player alone at the side of the net, and he easily put it in. Puck back down in the Vikings' end. Both teams going for it. Banks flips it around the other way. McClay's going to go into the corner. Good checking in there with uh, Zink, CJ Zink. Vikings come away with it. Referee says, no, that's not a trip. He fell down just a little too early, but the trailing referee at center calls the penalty. Number 18, Max Seymour into the box. Two minutes for tripping. So with 18.23 to go here in the first period, a great opportunity for the Vikings to get back in this game and knot it up. Face off, controlled by Aramith, back to the point, held in by Travis. Gets it in deep, Richardson tried to slide it in front, now it's McPhee. Check that, that's Richardson again, pass in front, right in front, there's a shot, rebound. Trying to stuff it in the side, tries the other side, that is uh, McPhee this time. Couldn't do it. Turns away from trouble, tries to get it back to the point. 
He does. Travis fires it in deep. It goes around the front of the net and now cleared down the ice by the Griffins. Travis. Around the first four checker, has some room. Gains the blue line. Good stick check, supported by Richardson. Travis still looking for it. That was chip tying out. Taylor uses the boards to chip it back to Richardson. Richardson gains some speed through the neutral zone. Griffin's trying to clog it up, force him wide to the left. He goes around the net, tries the backhand pass, tries to find McPhee, he goes off the net, McPhee picks it up. Back to the point to Brown. Brown stops it, walks towards the middle, looking for a shooting lane, reverses it. Opportunity for McPhee, McPhee loses it, loses the puck. Back into the corner. Griffins try to get it out and find some empty space and all the way down the ice onto the Armouth net. Long pass out by the goaltender as the Griffins are changing. McPhee goes cross ice, strong pass for McClay, well in front of him. And the Griffins are going to fire that right back down. As much as it was a good uh, opportunity, Banks might have been better off letting his team change at the same time and starting from scratch. Ten seconds to go here in the power play. Long stretch pass up to Richardson. Goes to the middle, quick wrist shot, steered aside easily by Vino off the glass. Cycle down low, that's McClay. McClay looks back to the point. Isaac Richardson just throws it in. Coming back the other way, that's McPhee again. Check that, that's Tanner Nickerson. Coming back, Griffins come away with it, that's Stevens. Stevens with the long shot, easily handled by Banks. 15.59 to go in the first period, the score. Horton Griffins won, Yarmouth Vikings no score. Face-off will be on the far side of the ice to the right of Charlie Banks. Good work there by uh, the Griffins. Pushing that through was uh, Stevens. And he actually had a decent scoring opportunity. Coming back the other way, that puck went all the way back right on Mason Vino. Vino decided not to play it as Yarmouth was coming down on him, covers it up for the face-off. And so we'll have a face-off all the way back down in the Griffin end. Yarmouth has six players on the ice. There we go, a defensive change that they didn't know about. That's going to kick the centerman out. Richardson goes out, and Higby comes in. Higby wins cleanly. There's right in the front. There's a backhand. Nice glove save by Vino. Good reaction as that was deflected around the circles. Face off, uh, a bit of a face off scrum. Both teams looking for it. Higby trying to dig for it, gets it to the middle, but doesn't get too far. Griffins are going to come out. They get to the red line, but no further as Brown holds the line and throws it back in deep. Opportunity for Higby. Nice shot and a nice kick save by Vino. Get them by Yarmouth back in front. Higby again scores! Number eight, Dom Higby ties the game up with 15-20 to go here in the first period. As Yarmouth had some good pressure in that shift, it came back out. Higby had a couple decent chances on the second one. He's able to go low to the glove side, find the corner, tying the game up at one apiece. Bit of a face-off scrum. Back on D for the Griffins. Check. Taken up by Crystalbrink. Crystalbrink takes fires a shot towards the net. Steered aside by Banks. Aramith can't find the puck in the corner. Getting out work there, and that's going to be Evely that comes away with it. Evely gets back to the point. Quick shot. Right back to him again, and uh, second time no better for Reeves as Yarmouth is able to clear the zone. King, King with the lead pass that's picked up. Yarmouth gives it right back. That could be a hooking penalty. I look at both referees. No, it's not. A little too far for Evely. He did pick it up. 
good pickup on a hard pass. Clemens behind his own net, tries to slide it, takes the check, and didn't get much of a pass on. So the Griffins will control it. Right back to McEwen. McEwen gets it in deep to Evely. Evely gives it up. Kruselbrink. Kruselbrink steers away from trouble. Nice move to get away from the check. Goes around the other side of the net. Throws it in front. There's a shot. Sliding the pad across his banks. I'm not sure if he got a piece of it or if it went wide. But it was a golden scoring opportunity for the Griffins. And Yarmouth was lucky to keep that one out of the net. That puck goes into the Griffins bench, and the faceoff will be uh, outside the blue line in the Yarmouth end. Shots on net, seven to five in favor of the Vikings. 14 minutes to go in the first period. Once again, on behalf of all the volunteers at MC Media, we're glad you could join our streaming of the Valley High School Hockey League from the Yarmouth Mariner Center on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. We have referees going to the bench and that puck was fired into the bench and I'm thinking that uh, I've seen a player with his head down and I'm betting he probably was the one that took that puck. Hopefully it'll be okay but cannot get a number. Yarmouth controls the face off, can't get it out on their first attempt. That one slides by Sanford, he'll chase it down but not in time. Right back to Travis. Travis tries to go high off the glass, instead goes up into the net. Yarmouth forwards will make a change. Face off on the far side of the ice. Sean Richardson. Griffins control it, nice pass, sliding it over to Easton. Easton with a shot, fires it towards the net. And diving over is Charlie Banks, and I think it's under his belly somewhere. Lost his stick as he was uh, trying to get over there laterally. The Armit defense is always going to have to be weary, it looks like, early in the game. On the weak side, as the Griffins always have somebody over there, and they are good at finding that open player in front of the net. And back the other way, taken out against the boards and getting the puck uh, to play. Comes right around to Duffy. Duffy takes the check. Wharton comes away with it. Stevens back to the point to Easton. Easton goes in deep, looking for the return pass. No, it's going to be cycled down low by Shaw. Behind the net to Soller. Soller pushes it forward to Shaw again. Shaw looking. There's a quick pass. Duffy's got it for the Vikings. Gain, gains the red line, chips it forward. Chasing it down is McLeod. McLeod stops, tries to get away from trouble. He's checked though, and McEwen puts it over to the far, uh, far corner. Richardson fights off one check, skates it down. It's behind the net. Pass in front, just out of the reach of number five, Gannon Duffy. Long shot, just looking for a change of the Griffins. Picking it back up the other way is Richardson. Richardson to McLeod. McLeod doesn't handle the pass well. Griffins will break back out and then come back in. Taking a hard check a little bit late from McPhee. And I think McPhee is going to get a penalty. And there's the whistle. Interference. As the puck was thrown in already and the check, the uh, what we would have called back in the day, uh, finishing your check, isn't really allowed anymore. That will always be called as an interference penalty, and I know I am aging myself when I say that. J.J. McPhee, two minutes for interference. 12.15 to go in the first period, and a great opportunity on the power play for Horton to reestablish a one-goal lead. They've got the puck. That's Reeves. Reeves to Crystalbrink. Deep in the corner, he'll get the return pass. Get breaks in, takes a look, goes upstairs, scores! Evan! Crystalbrink picks the top corner with a beautiful sniping shot. 17 seconds into the power play, putting Horton up two to one. So the leading scorer for the Horton Griffins, Evan Crystalbrink, 
has two more goals to add to his po point total. McLeod, McLeod goes cross ice. Long pass, high off the glass, picked up nicely off the glass by Chryselbrink. Coming in, that Seymour, sorry, takes a shot. It's steered aside. Zink, Yarmouth looking to clear it. Having troubles trying to get it out of their own end, though. Keeping it in deep is McLeod, Angus McLeod, pass in front. Chip forward and out of danger by Yarmouth. In the back yard, the other way is Crystal Brink again. He goes hard to his left, takes, fights off the check, has some room, looking to slide it in front. There's the shot, and another goal! Crystal Brink with the assist and the goal to number 20, CJ Zink. After great work along the far boards by Evan Crystal Brink to fight off the check, find some open ice and slide it in front. The pass was a little bit behind Zink, but he was able to find it, gather it in, and slide it underneath the arm of Banks for a 3-1 Horton Griffin lead here in the first period. McNichol slides it behind his bat, and that's Travis. Travis trying to fight it in his feet. He'll lose it. Evilly has it. Evilly fights off the check, looking in front. Nobody there, back to the point. Easton fires it towards the net. That bounces into the corner. Travis gets there, but not in time. He'll go in to help out. He takes the check, kicks it forward. McClay chips it forward, but it's right back in. Coming back, two on one opportunity, but they could not find that trailing player in front of the, not the trailing player, the player in front of the net. Great work here by Horton. As that gets in front of the net, Yarmouth finds a little bit of open ice. And in order to get a change, fires it down for the icing. As we're nearing the midway part of this first period, unlike minor hockey, we've got three 20 minute periods. There'll be a uh, ice cleaning between each period. High school hockey. Face off controlled by Yarmouth. Brown tries to slide it out, loses control, pass in front. There's a great opportunity, but the bouncing puck and Stevens couldn't get a hold of it. That one steered in front, and uh, Banks gets his stick on it and clears the zone. No icing on that. Good work coming back, Soller. Soller leads it off to Stevens. Stevens back to Soller, goes through his legs. Yarmouth comes back the other way, and they'll clear the zone. I mean, right back at Soller, though. Fights through a check. Good work by Soller as he ducks under a check, and the Yarmouth player goes flying. And that was Gannon Duffy that took a spill, trying to, trying to check. Puck along the wall. Yarmouth can't get it out. Richardson. Richardson to Duffy. Duffy can't move it past the half board. Coming back the other way, and in comes Stevens, pass in front, steered aside by Brown. McLeod can't get it out this time, deep in the corner. McLeod takes it, uh, makes a check, Richardson chips it forward past one, tries to get it through the second, can't. Brown will slip it around the other way to Clements. Clements is gonna try the other side, and this time it's stopped by McEwen, who throws it right back in the corner. Richardson, that passes in front, breaking in from the point. Can't quite get the shot away by Crystal Brink, and he has been active in this first period. Yarmouth fires it in, Brown chucks it in, and then he'll chase it down even though he's on defense. He'll get back to his defensive position now. Cross ice pass, nicely to Seymour. Seymour spins into the middle. Zink stops, lets uh, Seymour have the ice. Checked at the half wall. McPhee breaks back the other way. He'll go back behind his own bench. Uses the boards to get away from a check. Lead pass. Back to McPhee. He didn't see it coming, and it's coming right back in. But only momentarily. Easton chases us down for the Griffins. Being chased down by Sanford. Easton comes the other way. Lead pass. Tries the stretch pass. Good work there by number four, Ben LeBlanc, twice. Trying to break up that pass. Cross ice to Sanford. Sanford tries to use the boards, does. Chips it in. Doesn't get much farther. Good help there by Kenny. 
who fires it in deep. That one goes off the boards. McPhee fires it in deep. Kenny looking to find it again. It gets past him. King slides it back the other way for the Griffins. Chip towards the boards and out. Coming back is Crystalbrink. Crystalbrink takes a hard check along the boards, but is able to slide it behind the net. Puck still there, coming back the other way. Parsons, he's checked. Sticks kind of high there. No call. Yarmouth chips it forward, and that's going to go all the way down the ice. As Yarmouth needs the change, both teams will, act, will make a change with 7.16 to go in the first. Shots on net, still relatively close, 8-7 to seven in favor of the Horton Griffins. But the all-important scoreboard has the Griffins ahead 3-1. to one. Face off, controlled by Yarmouth, having trouble deciding who's going to take it first. McLeod has it at the blue line. Doesn't have a shooting lane, so just chips it into the corner. Shaw's going to get there first, throws it in front of the net. Back behind the net, passed in front, pinching in from the defense was number 10, Reeves, but he overskates it. Yarmouth comes back, tries to get it in deep. Right off the boards and back out to the Yarmouth blue line. That pass not controlled by Yarmouth. As we're coming back the other way is Stevens. Blocker saved by Banks. Stevens is going to get it back behind the net. Richardson has it. Spins away from a check. Takes a little bit of it, but spun away from the worst of it. Back to the point. Coming back is Stevens. It goes the other way. Trying to fight it in his skates is Muse. Finally does gather it in. Tries to get that through three Griffins players, and it doesn't make it. McPhee has some room as the Griffins are changing. Goes to the middle, has some room, gets by two, but into the corner too deep. Slides it around to Richardson. Richardson trying to use uh, his skates, but is has the puck taken away from him by Easton. Easton gains some speed, gains the blue line, chips it forward. Nice flip pass. Pass in front, there's a shot, score! Chrysalbank with his hat trick. Number 19, Evan Crystalbrink. That all started with a really nice move by Shaw, who flipped the puck up. And uh, so we're a little short staff today. There's no replays, and I really can't keep track of everything without it. Um, but it was a really nice flip pass that went over to, and I think it was Seymour, uh, who then slid it over to Crystalbrink, who was able to put the goal in his third of the, of the period. Zink spins away from trouble. Flips it back to Shaw. Gets it up. And Yarmouth throw, tries to throw it back in. But it's stopped by Zink, who throws it in deep into the Yarmouth zone. Brown, Richardson. Richardson around the ice. Gets to the blue line, but not out. A scrum along the boards. Referees are going to want them to play this. They are not going to whistle this down. Puck finally does worm its way out. Brown gets it out, but only momentarily, and now he'll start behind his own net again. That one's chipped forward. That's going to go all the way down the ice for an icing. Four fifty-six to go here in the first period. Face off would be deep in the Armas zone on the near side of the ice. Aramith needs to find another gear because with Horton's forecheck, they are having troubles getting out of their own end. Back to the point. Not held in. Griffins will have to tag up, giving Richardson lots of time to break out. This is Isaac Richardson. I don't want to say the other one. Isaac plays defense and Zach is a forward. Nice check up there by uh, Duffy going after it. Good work in the corner by McLeod trying to get it out, but the uh, Griffins will come away with it. Nice pass knocked down out of the air, two on ones. And here's a shot. Nice save. Good speed going down that corner by the Griffins. 
Banks able to gather that in with his trapper uh, uh, on top of his blocker. And I believe that was number eight, Tommy Shaw. Yes, it was. That uh, had that nice burst of speed and a good quick release. Somebody uh, got inside the circle a little too quick. Trailing linesman calls it, and they face uh, have another face-off. Won by the Griffins anyways. That's uh, an easy shot, steered aside. Isaac Richardson tries to get that one high off the glass, but it crawls up the gra glass and into the mesh. So we have another whistle with 4.13 to go here in the first period. Face off controlled by Yarmouth. Brown out muscles a much larger Evilly. Gets it into the corner. Travis tries to go around. Not going to go too far. Back to the point for the Griffins. There's a slap shot. That one's high and off the glass. That'll ring around the dasher. Be chipped out into the neutral zone. Evilly goes cross ice. Coming back this way is King. King throws it in deep. Loses balance. Getting there first though is Mitten. As Yarmouth, not the first to the puck when the puck is going in deep in their end. I think the coaching staff for Yarmouth is going to have a little bit to talk about in three minutes and 34 seconds. And right now, I think Yarmouth has to be lucky. They're only down three to one. That puck's going to go all the way down the ice and just have enough legs to make it over. So we'll have an icing face off with 324 to go. We'll come down into the Horton end on the near side of the ice to the right of goaltender Mason Vino. I got confused. It's to his left. His other right. Coming back the other way is Easton. Easton gains some uh, some room. A little bit of hook from behind that, that stops that. Easton still carrying lots of speed. Going to cut to the middle. Goes to the backhand blocker. Save as Easton might have had the far side there. Picks it up again on the other side. Still circling. Good work by Easton. That one goes high off the glass. Richardson can't get it. Pass in front. Too far in front of Krusselbrink. Coming back the other way, Brown's going to get the puck. He tries to go D to D. Getting there is Muse. Muse has to come back the other way. Muse fights for it, gets it to the blue line and out. Skating down hard after is Higby. Good work by Vino, realizing that Higby was going to get there first. Comes out and plays it, plays it all the way down the ice. Yarmouth could not play that uh, because it would have been too many men. They let it go. Richardson has some skating room, goes down to the middle, skates through one, taken out of the play. Nice hard check by Aiden McEwen. I mean, back the other way, the Griffins break out. That pass just a little in front. Picking it up is Isaac Richardson, and he throws it in deep. Coming back the other way is Soller. Soller chips it forward. That's in front of everybody, and it's going to go all the way down the ice. So with 2.02 to go, We'll have another icing, and the face-off will come back down in the Griffin zone. Face-off one, Easton has it, chips it up high just to clear the zone. That one has a lot of height on it, might not make it all the way. It does not, just exactly there. Brown's trying to avoid the truck and check and play the puck, and that's hard to do when it's one on two. Coming back the other way, Taylor has it taken away. Yarmouth able to clear the zone. Easton loses it, coming back. Nice lead pass, wide open on the other side. Good move by Shaw to get away from trouble. Just goes back. Cross ice over to Easton. Easton chips it forward and big check as Seymour is laid out by McPhee. Gets right back up. Actually, no, he, he's getting up a little slower and going to the bench. Hopefully Seymour will be okay. He did uh, get up a little bit slow and find his way to the bench. That one goes off a stick. Aramith can't control it. Banks has issues playing that one, trying to steer it aside. Almost steered it right back toward his own goal. 
Aramid does find it. The puck's on edge and rolls all the way down the ice. I'll try to keep my eye out for number 18, Max Seymour, to see when he comes back on the ice. Forty-seven point two seconds to go here in the first period. Yarmouth comes out of the scrum with the face-off control. McLeod chips it in deep and chases it down. He'll get there first. Goes around the other side of the net. Pass in front. Doesn't make it there. Trying to jam it, but Vino able to find that puck. He's gutted in the trapper and he skates away from danger. Face-off jammed ahead by Richardson. He throws out in front. That good attempt, but Yarmouth unable to get the shot away. Travis up to Nickerson. Nickerson throws it in deep. Yarmouth has to tag up. That'll give McLeod a little bit of time to set up behind his own net. 18 seconds. Cross ice. That one's picked off by Richardson. Richardson finds Tanner Nickerson. Nickerson throws it in. He's ridden off the puck by Chryselbrink. Back behind the net, trying to steer himself away from troubles. McLeod, pass in front, here's a shot. That one just goes wide with one second to go. And that was a golden opportunity for Yarmouth to get a good quality scoring attempt and try to make this a uh, two goal game. But on the strength of a hat trick by number 19, Evan Chryselbrink, the Horton Griffins after one are up four to one over the Yarmouth Vikings. On behalf of everyone here at MC Media, we're gonna take this opportunity to take a bit of a break and I'll come back with the start of the second period. See you in a while.
Welcome back, hockey fans. We're about to get underway for the start of the second period. Horton on the ice well before Yarmouth, and I was joking with the camera person beside me that wondering why Yarmouth was taking so long to come out, and they weren't late. They actually just waited for the uh, buzzer before they came out, and I said, well, the coaching staff probably had a few extra words to say to them. We're going to start the second period all with even strength. Quickly, before we start, uh, earlier this weekend, uh, both of these teams played uh, high-ranking teams. Horton uh, playing the number two team, Avonview, and winning 4-2. And Yarmouth was playing the number one ranked team, Central Kings, and lost that game 5-1. Well, we're underway. Yarmouth back in their own end. Off the boards to Richardson. He tries to chip it forward to McPhee. McPhee has it along the wall. And he'll throw it right back in. Comes away around the boards. Taylor looking for it. Trying to chip it forward. Travis gets back into his defensive position. Back to the point, thrown in deep by Easton. Brown chips it the other way. Cutting in front is McPhee. McPhee goes high off the glass, and that's going to get to the blue to the red line. They say that that uh, was deflected off of a Horton stick, so there's no icing. Coming back the other way, McPhee tries to throw a hit. Horton's going to come away with it. Good lead pass. That's Shaw. Shaw with a two-on-one. Tries to take the shot. Caught from behind by Richardson. Good back check there by Richardson. Able to stop that scoring chance. Taylor trying to come back for the Vikings. He has some trouble. McPhee chips it up. Richardson has it. Richardson cuts to the middle. Has some room. Goes to the backhand. Tries to slide it back. Trailing for Yarmouth. There's a shot. Not much on that one, though, as Isaac Richardson... Gets a weak snapper, and it's easily saved by Vino.
Face off on the far side of the ice. Linesman just retrieving a stick and putting it back to the Griffin bench. Horton wins that draw. They have the puck behind their own net. Up and over everyone's head. Oh, stretch pass. Did not see that to Mitten. Men with a shot. Glove save. And just checking that, I'm just seeing that uh, number one, Charlie Banks, not in net right now. It is now Tyson Peters, number 31, as a goaltending change after the first period. And so Peters, with his first opportunity to make a save here in the second period, able to grab that one out of the air. Yarmouth chipping it forward. McLeod still looking for it. Tries to fight through a check, gets to the blue line. Chip back in and to the far wing. Richardson throws it in deep. Vino will stop it behind his own net. Looks to play it. Tries one way. He's kind of stuck behind the net, but Yarmouth cannot come away with any type of trouble as a result. Seymour gets the puck out. Good work there by Reeves to position himself away from a check. Brown chips it forward. Back down to Soller. Soller with a backhand pass to Reeves. Reeves takes a check, and that's going to be a penalty on number 15, Tyler McLeod. As Vino makes his way to the bench. Yarmouth looks to touch the puck. They do. And here comes the penalty. It's number 10, Brady Reeves. And it's Tyler McLeod. Checking from behind is the penalty. And that is going to have Tyler McLeod out of the game. Out of this game and out of uh, future games. Yarmouth will have to put somebody into the penalty box to serve McLeod's two-minute penalty. But McLeod is out of the game. Serving the penalty. Number five, Yandon Duffy. Face off. Won by Griffin, by the Griffins, but they can't keep it in. Cross ice pass to Easton. Easton takes a look. Gives it back over to King. King chips it forward, and it's fired right back down the ice by Yarmouth. Vino throws it around the net. It's going to say too hard for Easton, but he's able to get the puck into the into the neutral zone before Yarmouth fires it back in. Resetting again is Noah Stevens. Stevens back behind the net to King. King will stop. That was shipped forward. Going in after it is Travis. Good work by Soller. Soller pass in front. Great opportunity. That one goes off a leg and wide. Yarmouth can't clear it. Another shot. Saved by... Saved by Peters. Pass back the other way. That shot goes through a crowd. Stopping in front. Peters looking for it. Can't find it. Puck behind the net. Stevens. Pass in front. Yarmouth can't find that puck. As McLeod was right there but could not gather it in and check that that was Sanford, I believe. Pass in front. Horton. Cycling around, pass in front again. Once again, Yarmouth not picking up that player. Another shot, big save by Peters as a hard slap shot. Yarmouth finds the puck again, gets it to the blue line and out. Yarmouth's going to need to change. Richardson's going to chase down Easton. Easton cycles around, circles around though. Circles around McPhee. Good skating there by Richardson. Is able to break up that play in his own end. Comes around his own. Kind of uh, hooked a little bit from behind, loses the puck. Can't find a stick and... And it's getting a little more feisty here in the second period. Just trying to follow the play, but then check what was going on behind the scenes, away from where the puck was. 
five seconds to go in this power play opportunity for Horton. Yarmouth gets control of that faceoff, fires it down the ice, and that will end the power play opportunity for the Griffins. McLeod behind his own net, goes the other way. Lead pass picked off by McPhee. McPhee has some room. There's a shot. Save by Vino. Coming back hard the other way is Shaw. Shaw has good speed, goes to the middle. Good defensive work there by Yarmouth, and that's uh, LeBlanc, Ben LeBlanc making that uh, stop. LeBlanc fighting in the corner. Yarmouth's going to come away with it. Chipping it forward. Can't get it by McLeod, who pinches in. Second time they will, though. Lead pass up. Up to McClay, McClay takes a shot, but it goes, uh, it's steered aside. Getting away from trouble is Easton. That one's flipped forward. Richard, Isaac Richardson tries to use the skates, gets it over to the corner, or uh, to the boards. McPhee picks the puck up again, tries to veer off a check, there's a shot, another save by Vino. Couple good opportunities, back to the point, there's a slap shot, not much on that one at all, as it's steered aside easily. Chip back in by McNichol. He chases it down. Yarmouth steps into it. There's another shot. Steered aside, pass in front. That one goes off the side of the net. Another pass, one timer, another save. Good work by Yarmouth. Back to the point again. That one's chipped forward. Not too far there by McNichol. Breaking back the other way is Shaw. Shaw looking for a pass, in, uh, looks to pass in front and gets it to Mitten. And that play broken up at the last minute by Yarmouth. Coming back the other way. Tip forward. Coming back is Travis. Travis tries to go around, can't make the move. Good defensive effort there by number two, Aiden McEwen. Griffin's making some changes, no support there. Good work though, coming back by Crystalbrink. They're able to get that right at the blue line and fire it in deep. Yarmouth goes around, rings it around the boards, but not out. It comes right back in. Certainly more checking happening here in the second period. Back to the point. That one goes through and just goes off the side of the net. That was close to the post. That one's chipped forward, and it's going to be an icing call on the Yarmouth Vikings. 13-12 to go here in the second period. Shots on net. Horton Griffin 16, Yarmouth Vikings 14. But the score remains four to one in favor of the Griffins. Face off, one by Yarmouth, but right back to Peters. And we'll try that all over again. Yarmouth wins that face off as well. Clements trying to dig for it. Seymour there. Throws it back behind the net. Brown's behind there. He'll ring it around, trying to find Kenny. Kenny not near the board, though. Not going to get that pass. Easton carries it in, tries to slide in front, just a little behind his centerman. Yarmouth will break back the other way. Coming out hard is Kenny. Kenny with a shot. Pad saved by Vino. Not much on that. I think uh, looking for a rebound more than anything else there, but Yarmouth did not get to the net. McLeod. An ill-advised pass that should have been picked off by Sanford, but he couldn't control it. That one goes between Sanford's feet. He throws a check. Back behind the Griffin's net. Moving away from danger is Easton again. Easton goes cross ice. That one's going to be picked off at the point by Brown. Brown throws it towards the net. And Kenny looks for a rebound but it's not there to be had as mason vino able to gather that in for the faceoff. face off back to the arm of points coming out hard is steven stevens has some speed he has a partial breakaway goes to his backhand there's a shot and he slides it wide on the far side. Back to the point. Yarmouth's going to come back with numbers. They have a two-on-one. That's Duffy. 
Duffy stops, tries to slide it over. It's in the skates of number nine, Tanner Nickerson, who has his, ski his stick lifted, could not get the shot away, and Vino finds the puck and covers it up. That face off back in the corner. Richardson throws a check. It's going to get all the way over to McEwen, who rips it around. Stopped at the point, and Richard, Isaac Richardson tries to make a shot, but it's blocked. Coming back the other way is Soller. Soller behind the net, pass in front. That one goes through skates, as it was a good opportunity yet again for that quick pass from behind the Yarmouth net into the slot area where the Griffins have scored so many goals. Coming back is Soller. Soller gains some speed, gets around two, goes to the middle. Around three, there's the shot, and that one goes wide. Great individual effort by Cohen Soller, but he could not capitalize on with the uh, shot. Richardson tries to go high off the glass. It goes into the mesh, and I think, uh, I don't know if he's staying on. Having a quick conversation with the referee. So I think that might have been a little bit of a a little bit of a check that might be. We'll have to check on Richardson later to see if he comes back out on the ice. Back to the point. We've got a penalty. Slashing. I'm going to bet. Or holding. We'll wait for it. Wait for that call. And it is a holding call on number three, Angus McLeod. So at about the halfway point of the second period, Yarmouth with a power play opportunity. A great chance to get themselves back in the game. They have played a little bit better here in the first half of the uh, second period. And now see if they can keep that momentum going. Brown has the puck, looking for a shooting lane. Takes a wrist shot through a crowd. It goes off a skate in front, Taylor skate. Yarmouth picks it up in the corner. That goes cross ice, well out of the reach of Travis. Brown back to Travis. Lead pass, coming back the other way. Richardson has some room, goes to his forehand, slides in front, looking for McPhee. But McPhee couldn't quite get that pass as it's well defended, back to Travis. Travis with some room, there's a shot. That goes off of a body and just wide. Richardson back the other way, chips it in deep to McPhee. Richardson looking for the give and go. McPhee still has it, back to the point. Brown, Travis, Travis with a group in front. Good screen rebound. Yarmouth cannot find that puck, is right in front of the net. But they could not get it. Good opportunity though for Yarmouth. Well played by Peters. Peters gets that off to Brown. Brown has some room, chips it forward to Richardson. Richardson goes, tries the dangle. That one's get to the blue line and out. Well defended there by number 44, Luke Easton. Brown has the puck again, through the middle to Richardson. He avoids the check, collides with his own man. Richardson has it again, backhand pass. Tries to steer it, looking for a rebound. Once again, Yarmouth not close enough to gather any rebound in. And Vino gets down into the butterfly and is able to make the stop. 42 seconds to go in this power play. A good one so far for the Vikings as they've had the majority of the play. And a couple decent opportunities. Face off on the near side, one by the Griffins. That one goes off of a leg. Yarmouth looking to dig for it. Finally coming away with it uh, is Nickerson. Nickerson taking a look. Tanner Nickerson still has it. Leaves the puck, but runs into his own player. And that could have been drawn up a little better. Coming back the other way is Sanford. He's got some room. Check that, that's Brown. We've got a head contact penalty being called. Two minutes on number 16, Ashton Mitten. So it's the two minute variation of head contact. At one time, my part-time partner, uh, Jeff, would uh, kind of tell me the difference being a referee, but He's not here to ask. 
Timeout Yarmouth. Yarmouth's going to take this opportunity with 13 seconds with a two-man advantage to, to rest their, uh, their first power play line and get them right back on there as they've had some great opportunities here uh, uh, in that first power play. Had some shots, had some good deflections, had some, uh, some good screens in front of goaltender Mason Vino. And they want to make sure that they're rested so they can put them right back out there again and hopefully keep this momentum going in their favor. Trying to get that second goal here in the second period. McPhee wins the faceoff. Back to Brown. Brown tries to veer away from trouble. He gets picked by number eight, Shaw. Shaw chasing down, out muscles Brown. There's a shot. Good save by Peters as he's able to make that save as the puck gets into his, into his pads. Great individual effort by Tommy Shaw. After that great individual effort by Shaw, he goes to the box along with Ryder Travis as they got tangled up behind, probably offsetting roughing penalties. So Yarmouth still with a uh, three seconds to go on their two-man advantage, but the face-off deep in their end. They're gonna come away with it though. Nice lead pass, hard off of the skate of Finley though, and it's gonna go all the way to Vino who covers it up. Allowing the Griffins and Yarmouth to set up in their zone. So first penalty killed, second penalty to uh, number 16, Ashton Mitten, and that's the head contact penalty. 142 to go in that one. So Yarmouth still with a man advantage. Back to the point, they'll get it, that's Brown. Brown to Richardson, Richard to McLeod. McLeod, McLeod with a shot, McClay, sorry. Back to Brown. Brown skates along the, walks along the blue line looking for a shot. Good opportunity. McClay comes in. Can't get the puck by. Wraparound attempt. Goes upstairs. McPhee can't get that one. That one goes in front. Yarmus digging at it. Can't find it. Puck well not covered. Three feet away from the goaltender. But the referee lost sight of it. And when you lose sight of it, and with the uh, little extracurricular activity that we've seen, especially here in the second period, they are going to call that and blow it down when you don't see it. Yarmouth still with one minute, 12 seconds on this power play. Goaltender Mason Vino doing a little bit of math. Back to the point, Brown will keep that in. Goes to the wall to Richardson. Richardson looking to McPhee. McPhee couldn't settle that puck down, couldn't get much on it. That goes behind the net. McClay's gonna break in and get that. Pass in front, in front of his player. McPhee has it, he'll settle it down. Too many people at the point for Yarmouth. Over to Brown. Brown waiting for Nickerson to come on. Nickerson gets behind the net. There's Richardson. Richardson tries to pass it in front. It's knocked aside. Richardson finds it again, circles around, gets around one. Back into the corner. He still has it. 31 seconds. Back to the point to Brown. Brown to Richardson. Richardson deep. That's Richardson. Back to McPhee, a one-timer. Not much on that one, and it can't get by number eight, Tommy Shaw. Now check that. That's six, Stevens who makes a nice play. Yarmouth breaking back the away. That's Richardson again. He's got somebody with him. There's a pass in front. And that's well defended by a sliding defense and Vino petting his defenseman on the head for a good play to take away that pass. Forcing Yarmouth to make the shot, but they still tried to slide it over. Still six seconds to go on the power play for Yarmouth. So one last opportunity here. Nickerson loses that draw, and the Griffins find the puck and fire it down the ice, and that will kill the penalty. Isaac Richardson goes high along the boards to clear the zone. Let's get back to King. King backs up, uses the boards. Nice indirect pass to Zink, who tried to use his body to get it in. 
Breaking in hard for Yarmouth is Higby. Higby gets there first. Gets some help. McEwen comes away with it for the Griffins. Lead pass to Seymour. Seymour goes wide to his right. Goes hard to the backhand. Goes slides along the other side. Good save by Peters. Seymour fighting for it on the other side. Muscled off by Tanner Nickerson. Nickerson has the puck. Slides it ahead. Higby chips it forward and gets it up to Muse. Muse can't do much with it on that second time, though. And we've got a penalty. It's a glove pass. 6.15 to go here in the second period. A little bit of action going back and forth, especially with the power play opportunities. Shots on net. 29-18 in favor of Yarmouth. I think that uh, they had a few shots during that power play. I'm thinking some of those shots didn't get all the way through, and that uh, 29 might be a bit exaggerated. Lead pass up the middle. Yarmouth picks that off easily, passed in front, trying to swing at that puck as it's going through the air, but not able to get control of it is Daniel Kenny. Horton breaks back the other way. That's Seymour going wide. Looks in front, there's a pass and a shot. Yarmouth has three players. Richardson trying to find that one, but good work coming back by Luke Easton, who circles, pivots quickly and comes, breaks it into the arm, but then goes to his backhand, goes to his forehand, there's a shot, saved by Peters. Easton still has it, still has it, in front, goes to his backhand again, upstairs, and that one's just wide. Third opportunity, he's gotta be tired as Easton goes around and around the Yarmouth end. That puck picked off by Kenny. Kenny moves away from one, gains the, the red line, going to chip it in and probably get ch and probably change, takes a check. A little slow getting up on that one, and he will get off. Brown, saucer pass over to McPhee. McPhee goes to the middle looking for some space, loses control of the puck. Regains it just past the blue line. He'll go in just a little too quick as it's offside. Four fifty to go here in the second period. Score remains Horton Griffins four, the Yarmouth Vikings one. On behalf of all the volunteers and myself, David Doucette, I'd like to thank all of uh, our viewers for watching MC Media streaming of the Valley High School Hockey League coming to you from the Yarmouth Mariner Center. Thanks for watching. McNichol goes high off the glass, just gets out. Yarmouth running into one another, can't get it out quickly. Second attempt goes over the stick of Duffy and it just goes back to King. That one goes off a of Yarmouth leg, that's McClay. McClay looking for it, trying to fight it off, has the puck in the corner, slides it in front, but it's defended well in front by the Griffins. Breaking back the other way is Seymour. Seymour has good speed. Around the net, tries to wrap around. Quick, Yarmouth finds the players in front, and the net is off. Going to wait to see what the calls, if any, come from this. CJ Zink was down on the ice as he was uh, looking to dig in there and probably did get a piece of goaltender Peters, and that will always draw a crowd. I don't believe anything's results of this as we're just a face off in the Yarmouth zone as we reposition the net. And where the face off is in the Yarmouth end, they're gonna say that it's Yarmouth that's uh, knocked that off. Richardson thrown out of the face off circle, back to the point to Easton. Easton Takes a look, but then quickly just dumps it into the corner. LeBlanc going after it's not going to get there first. Richardson chips it forward. Soller. Soller for the Griffins gets it back uh, to Easton. Easton has some room. There's a shot. Peters finds it, gathers it in before oncoming Cohen Soller can take a shot at that rebound. 3.48 to go here in the second period. This face off, one back to Easton again. Slap shot, that one goes off a of body. Horton slides it back behind the net. Good work in there in the arm, but then right now, back to the point. 
Back in the high slot now. That's Soller. Leaves it off. There's a wrist shot through a crowd, but Peter's able to see, see that and steer it. Easton, he shoots from a sharp angle, and it goes wide. Shaw pinching in from the other side, trying to keep it in. Uses the skates, gets control of it, gets it in deep. Delay penalty coming against the Yarmouth Vikings. And that's a hooking penalty as the Griffins sustained a lot of pressure in the Yarmouth end, and usually when that happens after a while, you end up defending and you end up using your stick because you're looking to get off the ice. And it's number 16, Jared Sanford. Going to the box, two minutes for hooking with 3.09 to go here in the second period. Still waiting for our first goal and here's a great opportunity for Horton to score our first goal of the second period. As I let me finish that sentence. Yarmouth finds the puck from the face-off scrum and throws her down the ice. Fino will just leave it back there for King. King comes from behind his uh, net, slowly makes his way up. Yarmouth clogs up. King does make the red line, though, or the blue line. Yarmouth's going to come back the other way. As McClay couldn't go any farther, and Horton comes back. McClay finds the puck again, though, and... Well, I'm seeing the goaltender, so we must have another penalty. And it is a cross-check penalty to number 94, J.J. McVie. So at 2.36 to go in the second period, the Horton Griffins will have a two-man advantage for one minute and 28 seconds or less. They win the faceoff. Cross ice to King with one time slap shot. Nice uh, steer to side by Peters as it goes off of his stick and up into the mesh for a quick whistle. Faceoff on the near side to the right of Peters. One over to McEwen. McEwen to King. King goes down low along the boards, and that's Seymour. Seymour taking off the puck. Yarmouth's going to come back with it. That's uh, Richardson. Richardson's going to use the speed, see if he can get a shorthanded attempt. There's the backhand shot. Nice pad saved by Vino. Breaking back the other way. Got the Griffins. Shaw. Shaw stops, circles, takes a look. Lots of room. Back in. Two-man advantage once again. That's Soller. Soller back at the point. He goes to the far side. That's uh, good work there by Peters to slide over and make the save. As he slides over, the net comes off, and we have a whistle. 47 seconds to go in this two-man advantage. Once that post comes off once, it does tie to tend to slide off again a little more easily as they're just little, little pegs, little... Nothing too solid in there. It's, uh, it's all about player safety. They don't want anyone ch crashing into it. Zink has it. Zink back to Easton. Easton goes cross ice. That's McLeod. There's a shot through a crowd and just stays out of the net. Yarmouth finds the puck and fires it down the ice. Yarmouth uh, could be lucky they didn't get another cross-checking penalty as they're trying to clear in front of the net. 25 seconds to go now in the two-man advantage. Coming on the near side to Soller. Soller taking off the puck. Good work in the middle there by Nickerson. Coming back the other way is Seymour. Seymour has some room, goes to his forehand. Saved by Peters. Yarmouth finds the puck and gets it down the ice. That will kill the two-man advantage, but there's still 31 seconds on the man advantage. One minute and four seconds to go here in the period. Breaking slowly out of their own end. Making center is McLeod. McLeod throws it in. Peters not having Travis get there too quickly, so he decides I might as well just cover this up, and if we want to make changes, we can. 51.1 seconds to go here in the second period. 15 seconds to go in the power play, and the faceoff will be to the right of Peters in the Vikings zone. One by Yarmouth. LeBlanc tries to fire it out, doesn't get too far. Coming back the other way is Shaw. Shaw behind the net, going to look in front, takes a look. Yarmouth uh, 
tightens down the zone. They try to slide it in front. Most of their goals have been from passes in front. King. King has it. Power play over. He'll fire that one. It's steered aside. That one goes off the glass now. Yarma tries to chip it forward. Richardson has it. Three on one opportunity. Richardson has LeBlanc. Richardson's still looking for it. Still can't find it. It's going to come back the other way. LeBlanc skating down. He's going to be chased down by Shaw. LeBlanc behind his own net. Long lead pass. McPhee has it. McPhee slides it over to Nickerson. Nickerson doesn't have a lot of time. Three seconds. There's a shot. Tries to get the short side. But Vino makes the save, gathers it in, and there's the horn. So after two complete, the score remains. The Horton Griffins four. The Yarmouth Vikings won. On behalf of all the volunteers and my health, David said I'd like to thank everyone for joining MC Media streaming of the Valley High School Hockey, Hockey League. Coming to you from the Yarmouth Mariner Center. I'm going to take this opportunity to take a break, and we'll be back for the start of the third period. See you soon.
Welcome back, hockey fans, as we're about to get started here for the third period. Horton Griffin's up four to one. No scoring in the second period. Some great opportunities at the end. Second period, got a little more testy. And we'll see uh, what happens here in the third, whether or not that continues. Great opportunity. That one just goes wide. Has a great stick in there by Cameron Brown. Able to help break that up. Heading back the other way. Trying to chip it forward is Brown. That pass goes through a crowd. Back to the point to Easton. Easton gets it along the wall. Travis is there. He can't control it. Coming out now for Yarmouth is McClay. McClay goes cross ice. Taylor tries to get that shot through, and he does, but it's easily gloved by Vino. Face off, controlled by the Griffins. Nice move to get away from trouble. And back the other way, if Shaw makes a nice pass. Zink, he'll chip it in, chase it down. Isaac Richardson behind the net, gets there first, uses the skates to kick it forward. Chamuse, use reverses. Then goes along the boards, it's gonna get stopped at the point by Reeves. He gets it back again. Slides it back over to Crystalbrink. There's a shot from a long, long ways away, but a nice and a nice blocker save by Peters. Yarmouth now has it. Two men uh, coming up. That's Higby. Higby goes hard to his right. Tries to slide it across. Defended beautifully by number four, Brett King. Griffins clear the zone. Get to the center. Yarmouth chips it right back in. We'll try to chase it down. Higby's. The four, check, four checker for Yarmouth. That one gets away, and so Sanford's is going to get it and chip it in deep. King behind his own net again. Slides it to his D partner. Horton comes out of their own end. Nice lead pass. Carrying speed is Shaw. Shaw stops, takes a shot. That one goes wide. Coming back the other way for Yarmouth. Kenny. Gets the puck to the blue line and just out. Angus will just fire. I sorry, Angus. I'm on a first name basis with these Horton crew. McLeod will fire it in. Yarn with a good stretch pass. There's McPhee all by himself. There's a shot. Score! Beautiful stretch pass. McPhee on the tape. Picks the top corner to score Yarmouth's second goal with 17.32 to go here in the third period, making the score 4-2. Face off, won by Yarmouth. High off the glass. That's going to jump over a skate and a stick. Bouncing puck, both teams trying to find it. Coming back is Mitten. Mitten has an opportunity, tries to slide in front. Kind of a high pass. Chip forward, Yarmouth's going to try to chase that down. That probably won't have enough juice to get across the line. It doesn't. Getting there first is King. He loses control. Pass in front, opportunity for McPhee. There's a shot, save, rebound. Yarmouth looking for it, McPhee has it, there's a wrist shot, sliding right across the blue and steered aside by the Griffins. Another shot, another save by Vino. Yarmouth swarms the net, has great scoring opportunities, but couldn't put it in. I'm looking at my camera person, because it's just the two of us here, and I'm going, Nick, it would be nice to have a replay of that. And he goes, yes, Dave, it would. <laughs> Not today. Face off on the near side. Chip forward by Richardson. He takes a quick shot. Nick goes high. Travis keeps it in. Slides it right along. It's going to go all the way around. McNichol goes to pinch in. And we've got a interference penalty from behind the scenes. Trying to see who touched the puck. So it is number three. My first name basis guy, Angus McLeod. Goes in the box, two minutes for interference. 
So at 1640 to go in the third period, Yarmouth with a great power play opportunity. Try to make this a one goal game. Face off, controlled by, uh, <laughs> by the Griffins, but Seymour puts it up into the net. And we'll try all that again, just four seconds taken off the power play. Face off to the far side. McPhee wins it back to Brown. There's a shot through a point. Nice shot by Travis as he had a screen uh, and it got through and it was a nice blocker save. Richardson tries to backhand it up high, doesn't get it high enough. It's gonna get back to Travis who keeps it in. Back along the wall, back to Brown. Brown brings it in, tries, to, tries a quick pass. Didn't get anything on it, and it's going to get fired all the way down the ice, and Brown's going to chase her down. Stretch pass to Richardson. Richardson pretty much by himself, though. Goes around one, and that slides it just a little too far in front of him, and Mason Vino grabs that puck to get the whistle with 118 to go in the power play. Yarmouth just making one change as McClay comes on for Taylor. Back to the point. Travis tries to get it into Richardson. It goes over a stick, and the Griffins fire it down the ice. Yarmouth setting up behind their own net. In no hurry. Brown gets a nice little pick play. And for his trouble, number 12, Luke McClay will have two minutes for interference for that pick play that I just talked about. That'll even things up with four skaters apiece for 54 seconds. Faceoff will come back down to the Armouth end. Face off. Won by Yarmouth, but controlled by Horton. High off to, tried to chip that off the boards, but it comes right back in. Yarmouth finally does find it. Unfortunately, they're not killing a penalty. It's four on four. And so the play is going to, uh, the icing is going to come all the way back down. Still 39 seconds of four on four play. Back to the point, that's Easton. He slides it in deep, nice reverse pass. Good look for Soller there, but he couldn't quite get a hold of it. McPhee has it. He slides it up behind the net. LeBlanc to McPhee. Now McPhee has it, that was Nickerson. McPhee with a shot, that goes off a stick. He'll chase it down. Still 13 seconds, four on four. Opportunity for Kenny there, but he couldn't get the shot away. One on one, make that a two on one. Shaw has it, makes a good move, pass in front, sliding over for a beautiful save. Tyson Peters keeping Yarmouth in the game. One second remains in the four on four, and then a minute six. Power play opportunity for the Horton Griffins. Looking to reestablish a three goal lead. Face off, controlled by the Griffins, but it's going to go all the way out. They now have the power play for one minute exactly. They'll set up in their own end. Let's lead pass to Crystalbrink. Crystalbrink uh, goes to his right, stops. Back to the point. That one's a nice pad save. That was King with that shot. Richardson has it one on one against King. Puts on the Jets, tries to get around. Good stick work by King. Richardson still going after the puck, still has it. Takes it out as he's just lagging time. Goes right back in. Chips it forward, still going after it. Good waste of time there by Richardson, who has got to be a little uh, tired right now. Coming back the other way, that's Krisselbrink. Goes, tries to go in between the legs of Brown, but he's stopped. And the puck is fired all the way down the net, all the way down the ice and on net. 
Crystal Brink again. There's a shot. Blocker save. Brown goes to take him out. Up along the dasher and up and around. Uh, the penalty was killed before that happened. So that will be a uh, icing play, or an icing call, excuse me. 13-23 remaining here in the third period. The Vikings able to kill off that man advantage. It's about a one minute and nine second man advantage. So they're still in this game, just two goals behind after scoring that first one. Talking to one of the Yarmouth parents, I'll keep him off the air because he probably wouldn't like me to name him, Randy, would you? Uh, we we're basically saying that if Yarmouth could score the first goal, then the testiness might uh, subside at least a little bit. And that's exactly what happened. The closer the game is, the less testy it becomes. Coming back the other way, Richardson slides it along looking for McPhee. That one's chipped again. And I checked that. That was McClay at the boards. He gets it forward to McPhee. McPhee gets it over. <laughs> that stick down with by LeBlanc. He's going to have to get back. That one's kept in, steered aside easily by Vino. Back in the corner to McClay. McClay back to the point. That's Clements with it. Clements with the wrist shot. Goes for the deflection on the side of the net by Taylor, but it goes wide. McPhee trying to dig it out. Taylor has it. Makes a nice move to get around one. He's on his knees, tried to slide it in front. Tries a second time. McPhee tries. That one's going to get up into the mesh for a whistle with 12.23 to go in the third. Face off, controlled by the Griffins. They're going to get it to the uh, blue line end out. Carrying some good speed is Crystal Brink. Crystal Brink goes to, to his right, goes to the backhand, but then circles around the other way, looking cross ice. Pass not there. Brown gets a stick. Crystal Brink has it again. And he has his stick lifted. Yarmouth can't do much with the puck, though, as Clemens that time with a weak pass. Pass in front. That one's just wide. A great opportunity there in the slot for the Griffins, but the shot just steered wide. Muse picks this up. Yarmouth should break out of their own end. Not getting too far as that pass can't get by Crystalbrink. Crystalbrink fights in the corner. There it is again. Good move to the outside. That could be a hook as I look for both referees. No call as we'll keep going. Brett King has it. He fires it back again. Brown. Lead pass, jumps over the stick of Higby. He'll try to chase it down. He has it. Opportunity, but he has his stick lifted by King. Good defensive work by King. King goes to his D partner, McEwen. Goes against the wall. That's kept in by Richardson, and then slipped forward. Richardson taken out of the play. That could have been interference. No call there, but there was no call the, uh, just a little while back for Yarmouth. Coming back hard the other way, we've got Shaw. Shaw can carry some speed, well defended though. Brown's gonna pick that puck up, goes wire to his right, carries the blue line. They are on side, Brown goes hard, tries to slide in front, there's a uh, puck sliding in front, but Yarmouth couldn't find it in time. Breaking back the other way, good work there by Seymour, but well defended by the Vikings. Richardson has it, two on two, slides one way, McPhee's gonna back him up, he'll gain the blue line. Tries to get by. Coming in. There's a shot. That goes off a leg. Hard shot by Shaw. And uh, the Vikings able to get that other own end. We're at just about the halfway point of the third period. Long stretch pass. Goes by everybody. And that'll be an icing with 10.08 to go in the third. Shots on net. 41-29 in favor of the Vikings. But the score. Horton Griffins 4. Yarmouth Vikings 2. Face off, one right back to McNichol. McNichol, no shooting lane, gets it in deep into the corner. Sanford slides it around. Coming back the other way though. Griffin's able to pick it up, lead pass a little too far. McNichol just tries to slide it right back in again, but it doesn't get too far, and Yarmouth will have to set up. 
Finding that along the boards is Jarrett Sanford. He slides it in deep. Getting in there first is going to be Kenny. Kenny slides it in front. One Yarmouth player, but two defenders. And, they're, uh, and the Griffins will come back the other way with the three on two. And that's just offside as Soller makes a bit of a move at the line, drawing his left winger offside. And we'll have a face off with 9.31 to go here in the third. Face off back to King. King goes cross ice. Lead pass to Soller. Soller's going to gain the blue line. Nice back pass to Shaw. Shaw has some room at the top of the slot. Slides it in front. Good stick in there by Richardson. Able to steer that puck into the corner. Back behind the net. Griffins have it again. Horton. That's Shaw. Shaw tries to slide it in front. Coming in from the point. There's a shot off the arm. Big save by Peters. And that big shot by Brady Reeves. Yarmouth chips it forward, trying to chase it down as Higby getting there first is going to be King. King avoids the forecheck, slides it along the board. Coming back the other way to try again is Reeves. Horton will come away with it and gain the zone. That one gets tangled up in the linesman. Shaw will bring it in himself. Yarmouth gets the puck to the blue line but not out. Chip forward, stayed in. That one goes off a leg. A little bit of sloppy play as neither team can control the puck. Nickerson tries to get it out. Doesn't get much on it. Dives down. And Richardson is, I think, both teams are losing a bit of steam here in the tail end of this game. Richardson chips that one over a, a defender. Gets by a second defender. Go hard to his right. Cuts to the middle. Individual, though, one on three is not going to happen. As it's going to be too well defended by the Griffins. Good work by Easton. Easton slides it in front, but it's behind Reeves, and it clears the zone for Yarmouth. Brown has it. Cameron Brown goes back behind. Slides it over to Clemens. Clemens doesn't get much on it, so Yarmouth just whips it around the other way. It's like they're stuck in their own end. Once again, it's there, and we have a delayed penalty coming against the Horton Griffins. And this is head contact. Is it a two or is it a four? It is number 20, CJ Zink, going to the box. Four minutes for head contact. A golden opportunity, if there ever was one, for the Yarmouth Mariners, Vikings, sorry, with 7.39 to go here in the third period. McPhee looking for that faceoff, can't control it. Brink's going to get it. He's going to lag the puck back. Yarmouth's going to have to force the puck off of his stick. He finally does throw it down the ice. Travis. Lead pass into the skates of Richardson, and they'll have to start again. Brown's turn on the other side. Seymour almost picks that one off. Yarmouth gets out of their own end. Here come Richardson. Richardson with some speed. Carries it into the blue line to his back end. He'll have to cycle. Good defense. Back to Travis. Travis. Slap shot through a crowd. Just goes wide. Brown will bring that right back in. Has an opportunity. There's a shot. Good, nice snap shot, but it goes wide. McPhee. He's going to get the return pass. He's got some room. There's a shot. Tries to go uh, five hole and then comes in for the rebound. Nice pair of saves by Mason Vino. 2.58 to go here in this power play. Four minute head contact. Works like a double minor. McPhee wins the face off cleanly back to Travis. Travis gets it to Richardson. Richardson takes it down, slurs it towards the net. He's going to have to try to get there. He can't, and Travis cannot hold that down the ice. Peters is uh, going to have to come up and play this. He goes cross ice. Nice pass to McClay. McClay goes up to Richardson. Richardson sl slows down. Spins away from the forecheck, still has it. Cuts to the front. Goes around the net, tries the wraparound, not quite there. Travis goes behind the net, that's McPhee. 
Yarmouth with two players behind the net now. Back to Richardson. Somebody needs to get in front. Cross ice pass. McPhee tries to slide it over to McClay, but McClay can't get enough on his stick to redirect that. Back to Brown. Brown at the point. Doesn't have a shooting angle. Goes off a of skate. Now Yarmouth in a good position. But good defensive work there by King to get that stick in there and that allow his teammate to fire it down the ice. Stretch pass from the goaltender to Richardson. Richardson comes in. He's at the tail end of a very long shift. He's been out there for two and a half minutes. Brown still has it. Slowing down. Back pass to Richardson. Richardson well defended at the blue line. Now Brown will try again. The, the Horton crowd not happy with the non-call, as I'll paraphrase and take the uh, Getting up slow. I did not see the play. As I was following the play out, it's number 10, Brady Reeves, who is getting up slowly. Referee does blow it down, even though the uh, Vikings had the puck. Seeing that the player is in distress, that kind of trumps it at this level of hockey. Yarmouth was still one minute and 20 seconds for the power play. Breaking it in, that's Higby. He'd be taken off the puck. Horton able to find it and chip it down. That's Ben LeBlanc who'll get it back in the arm at the end. One minute and five seconds on the power play. He'll start from behind his own net. Lead pass to Higby. He can't control that one. And Horton fires it right back down. LeBlanc. Try again. Lead pass. Chipped in deep by McClay. He'll get in there. That's Kenny. Trying to get it in front. It goes underneath the goaltender's blocker. He can't quite get it. Finds it. Covers it up. Can't cover it up. Horton finds it again, though. They'll go behind their own net. Higby going to try to forecheck against King. King slides it back the other way. McPhee comes in. Gets a stick on it, but can't get the rest. Gets it to the point. Isaac Richardson can't hold it in. 13 seconds to go on this power play. Stretch pass. Nice pass by McPhee to get it back to Richardson. Richardson back to McPhee. McPhee goes to his right, gains the blue line. Power play is over. Over to Brown. Brown with a, with a uh, little backhand, trying to shovel that pass in front, I think. And it's uh, easily saved by Vino. Three and a half minutes to go in the game. The score remains. Horton Griffins four, Yarmouth Vikings two. Back to the point, Brown looking to keep it in, gets it towards the center. In front of the net, the net. Yarmouth looking for it. Shot, can't get it through. A lot of work there by uh, Taylor, but he could not get that shot away as there was just too many sticks around him. Three on two the other way for the Griffins. Back pass taken out of the play into the corner. Both teams looking for the puck. Vikings come away with it momentarily. Good work by the Horton to come away. Pass in front, kick save, rebound, kick save again. Two big saves by Peters. That's going to get to the point. That one's another save by Tyson Peters. Peters came, came into the game at the uh, in the second period and has yet to give up a goal. Hopefully that will not be the kiss, uh, the, uh, the jinx for him. 2.54 to go in the game. Base off, controlled, pass in front. Peters in his body, digging at it is number 16, Ashton Mitten, which will draw a crowd. Yarmouth wins that face off, but 
Horton controls it. Mitten behind the net. Those are Horton. Horton behind. Looking for Mitten in front. There's an opportunity. That one goes off a skate. Yarmouth with numbers, but nobody wants the puck. Coming back the other way, Sanford takes a hard check, but gets the puck into the zone. Back behind the Horton net. Up to Evely. Evely behind his own net to McEwen. McEwen goes sideboard. It's going to go down the ice. That's out of everyone's reach. It probably has enough gas, and it does for the icing. 2.14 to go in the third period, and the faceoff will come all the way back down into the Horton end. Face off on the far side. Kind of a face off scrum. Gets into the corner. Both teams still working hard to get at it. That one gets up into the mesh. And we'll try again from the same spot. Good individual work there by Luke Easton as he was trying to fight off two Yarmouth Vikings. Looks like Peters is coming out. He is. So at 2.04, Yarmouth will pull their goaltender. See if they can get back into this game. Face off, one by Yarmouth to the point. That one goes off a leg. Once again, that's his Travis. Travis takes a shot. Glove save as Vino sees that one all the way, just like picking apples off of, out of a tree. Vikings will keep Peters on the bench. Faceoff will again be on the far side to the left of Vino. Yarmouth controls the faceoff. Back to the point. Good work to get it to the slot. Opportunity. There's a shot. Big save by Vino as he's able to laterally get over to his uh, blocker side and make the save. McPhee slides it behind the net. There is nobody there. So that's going to be easy for Easton to find the puck. He'll go high, and it gets into the rafters. And that's going to bring the, the face off way uh, deep into the Horton end again. According to the scorekeeper, that is the 50th shot the Yarmouth Vikings have gotten. So full marks for Mason Vino in this game as he has done a stellar job be in the pipes for the Griffins. Sliding back the other way, Richardson can't get around the linesman. He'll try a second time. Taking off the puck. Puck behind the net now. Yarma trying to find it, McPhee has it. Gets it back to Brown, Brown has some room, takes a shot. It goes off a leg, looking at a whole lot on that one. Two on two the other way, there's a shot to the empty net, just going wide. Smart move by Horton, though, as they gain the red line before shooting that puck for no icing. Brown steers away from trouble. Try can't get away from the second player, though. Less than a minute to go. Brown will try again the other way. Pivots away. Tries to get it to Travis. Up off the glass. Three on two. Richardson has it. Richardson goes to the middle and then to the side. Steers it in front. Good stick by Vino, who gets that. And Yarmouth, who... Uh, we're late getting to the blue line. We'll try again. Travis. That one goes off a leg. 25 seconds. That one goes towards the net, and it's a goal. Number eight, Tommy Shaw slides it towards the net. It bounces there as the other Horton player was swinging at it, but he missed. And I believe it is number eight, Tommy Shaw's goal. And that'll bring Peters back into the net for the final 22.7 seconds. And that should definitely ice the game for the Horton Griffins. Base off pushed ahead. Horton slides it in. Probably not going to go in too deep. Just looking to waste the time right now. LeBlanc trying to chip it forward. Gets, as it did get into the mesh. I thought it got into the mesh, but nobody called it right away. 6.1 seconds, and we'll have likely a final face-off deep in the Yarmouth zone to finish the game. Face-off won by Horton. There's a shot. Peters finds it. And no, we're going to have another face-off.
Face off scrum goes there. A little bit of uh, pushing and shoving at the end with Richardson. A little bit of frustration at the end of a game that head Yarmouth have some opportunity. Certainly a lot of shots, but uh, Mason Vino with a stellar, stellar play between the pipes for the Horton Griffins. And uh, we will make the final Horton 5, Yarmouth 2. On behalf of all the volunteers, that would be Nick and myself, David Doucette, be, uh, for MC Media. We'd like to thank everyone for joining our streaming coverage of Valley High School Hockey League from the Yarmouth Mariner Center. And we hope you'll join us again for our next streaming service. Bye for now.